I recently posted an Excel tip on how to compare two lists to find missing values in column B that is in column A. But recently someone had posted a comment saying what's wrong with using VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP along with the IF statement. Well, I'm here to demonstrate this. We'll start off with VLOOKUP first here. The first thing I have to do is to highlight the registered name like this and then go to conditional formatting here. From here, you're going to click on new rule and in here, the rule type, you're going to change it to formula and the formula you'll be using is equal V lookup and the first argument on the formula would be the first name on that list. So it's going to be A2 and the second argument would be the whole of column B like this and then the third argument, since this table only has got one column, so we're going to say one here and comma zero to be exact. So what this does is that it looks for any names that's in here but not in here and if the name is not there, it's going to return uh, NA. So basically a true and false statement here. So we're going to surround this VLOOKUP with is NA like this. And then once that's done, hit enter and click on done and you can see that the conditional formatting has taken effect here. So like for example, Old Shepherd is not in this list here but uh, Claire Riley Groom, she is in this list here. Let me clear the thing again so that I can demonstrate the next uh, uh, next function. The next one we're going to demonstrate will be the X lookup here. So highlight the name again like before. Again go to conditional formatting and new rule. It will come up here. The rule type would be formula like before. And now this time around we're going to use X lookup. And the first argument on X lookup will be the same thing as V lookup A2, comma, B, B, and we're going to say B, colon B again, comma, and blank if it's not matching, and zero to be exact. But the thing with X lookup is that if the name doesn't exist, it will return a blank, like we have stipulated here. Not like uh, V lookup, which returns a uh, uh, pound and a so to mitigate that we're gonna have to uh, write a length condition to check for length like this so basically this thing will return the length and if the length is less than or equal to zero which means the name here the name exists here but doesn't exist here we're gonna color it red so we're gonna hit enter and click done and there you go that's how you use VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP to compare two columns